few pens by the same company, and I find I prefer one over the other. Good morning, and welcome back to Stationary Head 4. So I've got two pens here, and they're both from Na Valour. The company name, sorry, just to be clear, Na Valour, formerly known as Narwhal. This is the Bronze Corridors Nautilus model, and this is the Shulkill. The Bronze Corridors has given me some grief compared to the Shulkill. But before I get into all that, let's take a closer look. This is the Shulkill on the right, and the Nautilus on the left. This particular Nautilus edition is the Bronze Corridorus. And this Shilkill, I have no idea what the color frame reference is, but it's beautiful. These two pens are fairly similar in size. In fact, they're almost identical with the Bronze Corridorus just edging over the Shilkill a little bit. Here is a Tusby Eco for comparison. A Pilot Metro for comparison, and a Tosby 580 for comparison. And then uncapped. Both of these pens come in a lot of different colorways. Well, I, I wouldn't say a lot in different colorways, but the Nautilus especially, I've noticed that the, the Navalor company has really buttoned down and offered different colorways and different kind of additions here, and they've got a few different ones. So taking a look at both of these pens side by side, it's interesting in my journey as I was mentioning there, the two pens, well, from the same company and fairly similar, uh, provide different writing experiences for me. And maybe that's not that interesting given that they're actually different models from the same companies. But let's just go ahead and take a look at each of these pens individually. Twist cap off. Beautiful detailing. And this is a really nice marbling in this pen, which I quite enjoy. White, blue, yellow. It's got a viewing window here for your ink. Similar to the Twispies, it's a, it's a piston filler. And a standard stainless steel nib. Now, I believe in the Shilkill, the Noveler, formerly Narwhal, brand of pen, were using third-party nibs. I actually don't know what they were, but that's just what I heard. The cap has a metal finial, and it's something flat rounded. The bottom is ever so rounded, semi-flat, and it has a clip that is actually pretty Pretty sturdy. The, the Nautilus, unscrewing this. This is a ebonite body. And while some people talk about the smell of ebonite, I didn't have any issues with it actually. The nib feed itself is plastic. The nib here is a proprietary Narwhal, Navaler, nib. And this is in gold plating, stainless steel. Piston filler again. The difference here is these amazing viewports really giving it that naval aspect to the pen. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Very rounded bottom. The cap here has a rounded top and some of that bronze finial in, in it as well. Now it's really neat, I don't know if we can see this very clearly on the video here, but the cap itself has very gorgeous detailing on the bottom rim of the cap. And it's just absolutely stunning to look at, it's a very nice, nice detailing. In any metal part of the pen, it's got this really kind of nice marbly patina look to the bronze, which I really appreciate. The viewing ports are, are pretty neat, they're fun. 
And in my experience with these two pens so far, uh, and this one especially, do provide quite a lot of functionality. And it's pretty fascinating when the ink gets low in capacity. You can actually see through it, and it seems like you're actually staring out the window on a ship. Pretty fascinating. The Bronze Corridors I picked up for 185 Canadian dollars, and the Shield Kill was 85 Canadian dollars. With the Bronze Corridors, the Nautilus here, I did have an interesting journey because with my writing style, and actually the first two nibs that I had on this pen, so the store bought and then the replacement kindly sent by Noveler, did not function for me. They hard stopped very frequently and railroaded very hard. I talked to Noveler, they sent me a replacement nib, and the replacement one also had similar issues. And they were kind enough to send me a third one, and the third one works fine. Now with my particular writing style, I do notice that this tends to sometimes tends to hard stop from time to time. And I think it's just the way I hold my pen. The Shill Kill, I have had no issues whatsoever. Both pens with these nibs, I find the nibs particularly stiff. They do offer a lot of feedback. And depending on the paper, sometimes almost uh, a scratchy feedback, especially with the, the Nautilus here on the right-hand side, which I find can be quite distracting in my writing experience. And it's a bit surprising uh, to me, particularly given that I, I had, tend not to have that with most of those fountain, with most of my fountain pens in my collection. It's these two, especially the Nautilus in my collection, that gives me the most feedback. And I should mention that both of these pens are in a fine nib. Let's just take a look at the nibs again, just to compare side by side. It does seem that the bronze corridors, the Nautilus on the right hand side here, the nib is ever so slightly longer. Now they're about the same size. I'll have to double check. Uh, like I said, I was told that the nib on the shield kill was third party, but perhaps this is incorrect information, as they look fairly identical. The nib has beautiful detailing on both pens. I generally prefer gold-plated nibs or that gold look. So I definitely lean towards this. Let's take a look at a writing sample. I should have also mentioned that uh, the this pen in particular comes in a fine, medium, a bold, and a stub. The stub is, in my opinion, when I was taking a look at it in the, in the store, quite stubby. The Shulkill, I believe, only comes in a fine, medium, and a bold. Starting with the Shulkill. This isn't a fine nib. And this is inked with a Roshizuku. On Pecky. The bronze corridor is here. So this definitely offers more feedback. So the novel or fine nib. So you'll see, sometimes it just railroads like that. And I can't tell if it's my writing style. And I've tried different inks in this pen as well. They all seem to offer the same consistent experience. The first two nibs I had with this, as I mentioned, they were, uh, they didn't have ink coming out. And when it did, it was very, stuttery to the point it was quite distracting. And while this is a gorgeous pen to look at, and I'm glad I have it in my collection, I've been struggling to make this one a daily rider because it does that, just hard stops. The 
This is inked with uh, Eri Ryo Shizuku as well. This is the Suki, y'all. In terms of the line width, if I did get that right about the fact that the Bronze Corridor Synonolis here has a different nib than the Shilkill over there, uh, what I have noticed is that the Bronze Corridors tends to write a little bit fatter on the line, perhaps a touch fatter. I wouldn't say it writes any wetter, but certainly the line width is a little bit more pronounced between the two. I love writing with the Shield Kill. In fact, I think it's one of my favorite pens in my collection, just by proxy of the fact that it's absolutely stunning and gorgeous to look at. And I find the writing experience pretty smooth. It does offer a bit of feedback, and I mentioned that, but I really like it. And it's uh, certainly become a daily driver. Now, talking about the Bronze Corridor Stenopolis here, I struggle with this pen, and you saw it a little bit in the video where I was trying to do a bit of a writing example there, and it was just hard to stop. And even though Navalor has provided me two different nibs, I would have to say that it still hasn't become my daily writer. I don't mind writing with it for little brief stints, but I certainly wouldn't write with it for long sessions because the ink flow issues for me uh, and my writing style are, are not compatible. More importantly, I don't enjoy the feedback in this pen. I find it to be quite scratchy on any type of paper. My wife feels like it's a little bit different in her her assessment, but personally, I think it just offers a lot of feedback and it likely comes down to my writing style. I'm glad to have both pens in my collection though. They're beautiful to look at and I think they're quite high quality pens otherwise, aside from the the uh, little bit of personal issues I had with them. The nibs I think are quite lovely and detailed and I love the whole sea naval theme, even though as some of you may know, uh, and based on my other videos, I'm terrified of all things sea creatures, but I do like the the sense that they evoke with respect to the sea or the ocean. And I, I like how the companies kind of tailor themselves to that in these models here. I especially like on the Bronze Corridors one, uh, I know it's a little bit gimmicky, but uh, I love the portholes, the viewing windows for the ink. I just think they're absolutely stunning and a neat way to take a look at your ink capacity. Highly recommended. I'm uh, happy to have them in my collection and I look forward to writing with the Shield Kill for long periods of time and uh, just the fact that I've got the corridors uh, to look at from time to time and, and do little writing stints here and there is, is nice to have. If you do have a Nautilus though, just to go back to that question, I would be curious to hear if you have similar experiences. Both my pens are in fine nibs, but uh, I'd be curious to hear if you have a medium nib or a stub or a bold, if, if you've got any, uh, any differences there or any similarities with respect to your writing experience. So maybe it's just me. And like I said, I'm really hoping it's just my writing style uh, and my immediate pool of comparison with my wife would suggest it only is my writing style. Thanks very much for joining me today. I hope that was helpful. If you liked what you saw in this video, please consider clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below. Take care, have a wonderful day and bye for now.